Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is another repair video actually, or I should say maintenance video. We just finished the drive shaft, flex discs and drive shaft support bearing and the support itself on this car and I haven't driven it just yet, I still have it jacked up because today it's a very important day, we have to change the manual, manual transmission fluid on this car. It actually takes, uh, it doesn't take a gear oil and it actually go the, it's supposed to take uh, automatic transmission fluid, the red one. Um, so I'll just walk you through this uh, procedure really quick. It's pretty simple on this car. It's uh, the only thing you have to watch out for is uh, filler plug and drain plug. You have to have proper tools for that. So let's go ahead. I'll show you everything. So this baby is jacked up on this side and uh, the best thing is to ha actually have the car level uh, so if you can have it on four jack stands and level that would be the best uh, but I have only jacked up this side and the way I'm going to do it is once I drain it I'll actually lower it down so it can drain completely and then I'll actually lift it back up um, so I can refill it and then again I'll lower it completely just to make sure that the level is correct. Alright guys, so here's our transmission and the drive shaft. We're under the car and uh, there's a few oil leaks but uh, let's go ahead and drain this transmission and uh, see how the fluid is or I also want to check the level see how low it is all right guys so we have a clean pan here and uh, we're going to go ahead and remove this filler i mean the drain plug uh, but i already loosened it all right so what you need to use is um, this big uh, allen bit all right fits right in there okay and make sure you use the right size and if there's any dirt inside the bolt make sure you clean it all up um, and make sure it's good uh, and then there's on top right here right there is the filler bolt and all right so we have a filler bolt um, right here and I already loosened it that's why you see some fluid actually fluid uh, looks pretty clean here which is not bad so um, I'm not going to actually check the fluid level right now, um, plus it's telling me that it's pretty much almost full um, because it's already leaking out of here, just so you can see that it's loose. I'll show you, okay, right here, it's, the bolt is loose. Okay. You want to make sure that you always remove the uh, filler bolt first. Uh, just in case something happens you know or because otherwise if you remove the drain plug and drain the fluid and then you realize you can't take this off or you strip it or something then it's going to be a bad day uh, that's why you always want to make sure you loosen the filler bolt first Okay, so I'm gonna let it drip for right now and I will lower the car a little bit. Um, that way this thing can drain completely. All right guys, so we just drained the transmission fluid. I'm about to show you the condition of the old fluid that came out of this car. I don't, I don't know any history about, of you know, when the fluid was changed on this car. Um, but I always like to do this kind of maintenance just so I have it on my record and I know that it was actually done so that's what we did today um, and also I forgot to mention make sure you wear safety glasses when you're under the car it's very important because all the dirt and junk and rust will fall in your eyes so make sure proper PPE alright guys so here's the look of the old fluid that came out 
Uh, we drained out about like a quart or something. Um, no, a quart and a half, but um, the food is actually in a great condition. You guys saw it draining out. And, uh, you know, there's actually no metal shavings. These are all the bubbles right here. Uh, so there is, there's actually no metal shavings and the food is really clean. So maybe they did change it at some point. I'm not sure. Um, but actually, this, this looks really good, guys. All right, guys, the car is all jacked up on this side as well. Okay, double safety. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the filler plug and I'm going to start refilling it. And yeah, it's a really fast process, guys. The same pretty much procedure like on a uh, rear differential or front differential. Um, let's, let's get it done, guys. It's, it's really simple. Let's go. All right, guys. So since the car is all jacked up right now, this is the pump that I'll be using to pump the fluid inside of your transmission. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty simple pump. Um, you just stick one end into your fluid and the other end into the transmission. Uh, filler hole and that's it. You just pump. You use your strong muscles. <laughs> you just, just mom, you use your muscles to pump, 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 and that's it. Literally, it just it, it's not gonna take too long, uh, especially because this transmission takes maybe like one and a half quarts or something like that. I don't quite remember exactly, but it's it's less than two quarts. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, and as far as the transmission fluid uh, this is the uh, type that i'll be using actually and for uh, most of the mercedes manual transmissions you use atf which is automatic transmission fluid uh, but for your particular mercedes make sure you double check your owner's manual or double check uh you know whatever it is you know there's a lot of resources or you can even call your local deal dealership and ask them what type of fluid your car takes or you can even call some local parts stores they will tell you exactly what type of fluid you need for your car but this is a universal fluid that actually works um, in or for this transmission and this is what i'm going to be using it's a full synthetic um, and yeah so that's it guys let's go ahead and uh, pump this fluid in um, and make sure it's at the proper level and torque everything down and that's it we might go on a test drive today i'm not sure but maybe all right guys so for most of the tools that i'm using uh during this job i'll leave the links down below off uh, so you guys can go ahead and check it out and uh, that will be easier for you and you guys know exactly uh what you need for the job like this and yeah anyways less talking more doing let's go ahead get this job done all right guys so we're gonna reconnect this drain plug all right Uh, just be very careful don't introduce any dirt inside and this drain plug I already cleaned it up all right looks really good um, and there was actually no shavings on it either so um, I'm putting it back make sure you're being careful don't cross thread anything Go ahead and install that. All right, guys. So um, with this, you want to make sure your socket is all the way in, and then just tighten it. I actually don't really know the torque specs on it, but. I always have a feel, if you don't know how much it is, or how tight it's supposed to be, um, I mean, you can look up the torque specs. Um, with this, usually when you tighten it, it's basically, it's gonna stop, alright? And you just get just a little bit more, and that's it, and that's your German tight, alright? Alright guys, here's the setup. I have one end of the pump in my fluid and the other end actually goes to the transmission and I'm about to start pumping this thing until I see, uh, actually, I think until I see uh, fluid coming out of that filler bolt, filler hole. So let's go ahead and do that. It's not that hard and we're almost done here.
so um, after you see that the fluid is coming out you have to let it uh, you know drain out from that filler plug until uh, just like a s really small amount like small stream of fluid is just coming out or just like dripping um, that's the ultimate perfect level um, and like I said make sure the car is level as well which right now it is all right uh, and then uh, afterwards you know put your drain plug back in and uh, right now as you can see uh, this socket uh, you know there's not enough space for me to put the ratchet in there so what I'm gonna use is a, a wrench to tighten that thing use a wrench I'm gonna tighten it all right guys final step is obviously cleaning we're gonna clean this thing up nicely all right this thing is gonna look great all right guys i made it look a lot better of course it's not perfect uh, i'm gonna be power washing it at some point uh, but right now I just wanted to get this excess of this oil off and just clean the drain plug and uh, also filler plug and uh, yeah here's a look at our uh, flex disc again and some other things.